or Mire just left. Um, all right, um, Alex, Alex, uh, you just joined us. So we already did a round of introductions from everyone and we got to know everyone's background. So it would also be nice to hear from you and your background and why you decided to get into the end. Okay, my name is Ike Bwaxi Hanajamaka. I am from Nigeria. So I, I was introduced to the platform by a friend. So I just want to learn a new thing. So I'm not really conversant with the, with the whole program. I really need somebody to put me through so that I, want, I will understand better. All right, um, that's great. It's good to see that yeah, you're, you have a good initiative to learn more. And I think also it's not just you alone who's struggling to understand the concept. I think um, a lot of people are finding this concept being new, but just I think with a lot of practice and yeah, with a lot of practice, you will definitely get it. Um, so um, Radiat, um, is there anything else we've left or should we proceed to why we're here? Yeah, okay. I think we can Another thing. Back. But yeah, maybe Alex, you can go on. Okay, sorry. Um, if can someone re like um refer this to another like another badge? Like if you cannot make it with this badge of ten academy, can you join another badge and you know continue? Maybe that time you must have learned and understood what is actually going on in the platform um it's possible but again um may i ask why exactly you, you're trying to consider to move to the next batch okay according to what i read the um do's and don'ts and the protocols i i saw somewhere where it was written that you have to pass four out of the 12 uh, assignments like out of the 12 challenges to be able to qualify to to graduate mm -hmm. oh and two two uh, week one and week two has passed now i've not really followed i've not really submitted anything both in the in the tanks. All right, I understand. Um, but you still have like I think eight more weeks to go, so that means eight more challenges. So um, I think instead of just trying to give up in the middle and you've already started, I would advise you to just keep pushing. Um, it 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 might be hard, but it's going to be worth it at the end. Don't give up just yet. Um, if right, you thank you, yeah. If you would like, I think um, Radiate is always ever ready and uh, willing to help, especially with the technical things. If you're not understanding things clearly, um, she's always there to just offer support, and that's also one of the reasons why we're here. Uh, for the women's only session. So the first half of the women's session is always meant for just um, trying to network, collaborate and understand um, a few things about um, how we can lift each other as women. But also we have the last 30 minutes just tailored to your specific questions, things that you don't really understand in this session, in this program that you're not, um, yeah, things that you don't understand um, we have the technical tutor here, just specifically uh, here to help you through that. Um, All right, thank you. Yeah, so um, I think we have like 10 minutes for the first half of the session, which is just to um, 
so today was just because it's our second women's session it was to introduce ourselves and get to know each other which we have so we're just going to go through what i already shared in the women's only session to just uh, just a brief of why we are here and then we can have the next so the next the other last 30 minutes will be tailored specifically to the technical challenges so where are you experiencing more challenges at and how can we help and if it's a concept that you don't understand, Radiate will um, help, uh, Radiate and Ekram will help um, guide you through it. Um, so I'm seeing two people joined, uh, Wendy and Meraf. Maybe before we get started, are you guys able to speak up and introduce yourself? Tell us a bit about your background and why you're here for the AI for PM, PM course before we continue. If you're not ready yet, we can give you a slot um, right after this presentation. So maybe just a reaction of a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Okay, um, Wendy, please go ahead. Hi everybody, good morning, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Wendy Tete, I'm a Ghanaian and um, I currently work with an insurance company as a reinsurance officer, but uh, I recently transitioned into the HR role and um, I'm looking forward to, I joined this academy because I want to see how I can use AI to influence um, my new job role. Yeah, thank you. Um, that's great, Wendy. And how are you feeling? Um, how are you? How, how are you feeling about this course so far? Well, so far it's been very, very insightful. I've been exposed to um, new AIs. You know, initially the only AI I was restricted to using was the Chat GPT, but then. I joined, actually joined this week, and I realized that they had several AIs, and then uh, each of them have their various roles. So how it, it all boils down to the function you are going to use the various AI for, and I must say it's been very, very insightful, very, very. It gives me hope that indeed the future is exciting. That's great to hear. Um, and I love your pos positivity with AI. Um, and it's also good to hear that you're learning. Um, thanks. Um, Meraf, Amari, can you speak and maybe introduce yourself? Uh, tell us a bit about your background, why you joined, and how you think this session is so far. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Meraf Haftal Damara. I'm from Ethiopia. Uh, my background is in um, natural science, geology, and gas and remote sensing. Mm. Uh, uh, I want to pursue on the project management side and to utilize uh, artificial intelligence tools because I have a plan to work on my PhD. So uh, this. Uh, Intensive training is uh, good for me, but I have some shortage of time. Uh, the career and also the technical part is good for me using this Google uh, sheet and uh, docs. So I, I like it, even the explanations in the uh, <clears throat> how to pursue the questions ask it is good and i like your approach sometimes i uh, 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 use your uh, video from uh, youtube but if i have time most of the time i like to uh, attend the google meet tutors and uh, i like it that's great to hear that you. Yes, 
Great to hear that you love the program. And it's also good for me to hear that we share the same background in GIS. Um, that's really nice. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, um, so I would ask more questions, but that would make it more personal uh, for the others. So let me just go ahead and talk about uh, So just for the four minutes, I'm just going to go through what I shared before, and then we can have the last 30 minutes specifically. If you're facing any technical challenge, um, you can have Radiant uh, help you get unstuck. So. Um, the reason why we decided to start the women's only session is because we noticed there were more male applicants and graduates from the training program here. And we have three programs so far. So the Kithia, U2J and in, in the intensive. And this is not just a, a trend that we see in Ten Academy alone, but just general um in the in the whole industry so our vision is to just ensure that we give more extra support to our women in this training uh in terms of um technical support in terms of uh helping each other just um uh, giving each other moral support in case one is feeling low and feeling um, that they can't go through the session. We're here to just encourage them to keep going and uh, not to give up in the middle. So how we plan to do that is first hosting this uh, women empowerment sessions, which will be one hour every week. Um, so yeah, the main here is to tackle things like um, in, when what do you do when you feel like uh you're experiencing things like imposter syndrome uh if you're feeling um maybe taking risks and also just ensuring that our women are will become more strong and resilient to tackle the technical challenges even though they seem hard so the other thing is to also network and collaborate i've I found someone here who is in the same field as mine and it's great to see that we can share or learn from each other and also the other thing is to offer extra training support to understand that the technical challenges could be a bit tough especially since some of us are not on the same background or in data background. So the sessions are specifically meant for us to uh, get that more additional support just to ensure that we also graduate as many women as men in the training session. Um, yeah, so I think we've covered the first half of the training session um i'm seeing an imposter here hi firam sir this is a females only session um so i think you're kind of misplaced uh, but yeah so we've covered the first half which included the introductions and getting to know a lot of people it's great to hear that a lot of you are already working um as project managers, product managers in different industries. And it would be, so next week, I think we would have a topic. So the first half would be having a topic on um, how you guys are using um, AI in your specific industry, how it's helping you in your work. And we can all get to share and um, learn from each other. And yeah, uh, hopefully we'll all be good AI evangelists in Africa. So yeah, that covers the first session. We will now go ahead to the second session, which is offering extra support to, um, to the technical side. So I'll leave this part to Ekram and Radiat to continue. Um, but before we continue, I also see many guys joining. So there's uh, Caro, and Gabriel Med, if you guys don't mind, would you like to introduce us yourselves, um, your background, and why you joined here, and uh, why you joined the AI for Project Management, and uh, what you think of the session so far? Um, Cairo or Gabriel Med, would you like to speak? Um, let me go fast. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Um, so. Uh, my name is Caro. I have a background in mechanical engineering. 
but I recently started doing data. So, so far I have a basis in SQL and Tableau. Um, and I'm now doubling in AI with this program. So why I joined this program is number one, I'm very interested in AI and it's the new tool um, that is in the market and it would be good to equip myself for that, for progression and um, adjusting in the job market. Um, also being uh, doubling into data, I'm really, I do not want to, <laughs> Um, go into code. I do not want to do coding. So as I'm learning data tools, I think AI is a perfect supplement for me being an expert in AI for me is a perfect supplement for me not being able to code. So coupling AI with the, the data tools that I am learning, I think that's going to be Perfect, and I'm also seeking new job opportunities. So upskilling myself for me to be um, suitable for positions such as project management and AI specialists. Um, that is why I am in, uh, involved in this um, project. Um, so far, so good. I am loving the intensity of the and of the of the um of the assignments and the challenges and i'm also loving the fact that um we have they vary the fact that we have the technical part and and also the careers part that's also very nice and also the fact that we have different challenges every week from um data to like the one that we had last week about um, the job descriptions and CVs. So getting to see the, the range and the diversity of using AI has been really um, exciting. Yeah. Great. Um, love to see your enthusiasm to learn and grow and love that you're also loving the training. Um, so maybe Gabriel Med, would you like to introduce yourself? And tell us a bit about your background. How are you loving AI so far? Okay, um, maybe we can speak. Um, so yeah, I think we can move into the second session which is tailored um, extra support, extra training support for uh, women. So if you, um, Alex, I think, uh, yeah, Alex had major uh, challenges, but I see she's not around. So maybe anyone else, if you're experiencing any technical challenge or if there's a concept that you've been trying to just understand and you're not really understanding this is your chance um credit and ekram are here for you so anyone wants to go first yeah so as mentioned by um margaret so actually uh, alex had also joined maybe to say uh something on what you have guys said uh, it actually, it is really interesting to have you here in the first place, but on questions like um, uh, maybe Alex, she said, I am not, she needs help on some things and some things are confusing and things like that. They might be confusing, but, you know, uh, try to reach out for friends and for tutors, actually. Uh, so anytime we're open to answer, like we can debug things, uh, actually not debug, you know, we can go over things or questions with you to be there. So it's okay to reach out for us in any time. So yeah, don't feel, uh, you need to feel uh, encouraged on this. Okay, Encour you're encouraged to ask us and to contact us. And maybe let's go to the, this week's challenge and while doing this week's challenge, uh, if there is anyone. And also, uh, again, uh, something that I wanted to say is, uh, maybe you, some of you guys might not be available on every sessions and on every uh, to be attained to attain every sessions and every tutorials okay so you can choose 
what type of tutorials are um, mandatory to me and you know what things what specific things do you need to go on and what would be important for example being part of the introduction session will help you since you're going to know majority of the things what you're going to do on that weekend things like that so if you're not able to attend every sessions and most of the sessions so choose wisely okay and try to review the videos that are important uh, from our youtube channel and they are saying that uh, let's proceed to this week's ch challenge and let's talk how this week's challenge is treating you guys is that difficult is that okay maybe i heard Mireille mentioning that the week one challenge was the most difficult challenge so after the week one since it, this week's challenge is going to be somehow related with that somehow actually not totally uh it is it might not be that hard for you as the week one so how is that treat how is this week treating you let's talk about that you know women's to women's So who want to go first? It could be a simple thing like, I don't even understand what data handling is. Yes, Karu. Um, so for this week's challenge, I found, I found it um, fairly easy and interesting to do. I like the... I like the analysis part, uh, the fact that um, we are creating these graphs and comparing them and also using LLMs to, because my comparison, I had to, comp I, I used an LLM to compare with the indicators that I had chosen to see whether I was making a good decision and also to help direct my decision making towards um, a recommendation for the company. So I'm actually done, done with that. Um, it was a really, it's been an interesting challenge. I like the analysis part um, that has been really, really great. Yeah. Okay, it's really very nice to hear that from you, Karo. So yeah, yeah, it seems like Wendy, I should deserve the club. Uh, it seems like you understand the tasks well since you have used the LLM both for collecting the data and then for the analysis. Then yeah, I think you get the core point of the task. Okay. I have, uh, I think Reza with that, we're raising her hand, right Reza? Or is that by mistake? Yeah, it was by mistake. Okay, okay, Reza. So let's go. Who is next after Carol? What experience do you have? The rest of you, um, do you all are using? Uh, are you all using the LLM for data comparison and things like that? And also, since we're going to have, uh, by the way, yeah, since probably you've checked the schedule, we're going to have an Olympic session. Uh, using LLM, that is going to be interesting. So yeah, let's help each other. In, uh, in order to win the competition. It is going to be actually for fun, it is not a must, but I hope that most of you, actually all of us here are going to participate in that. So are you comfortable on using LLMs and things like that? Let's share that. Okay, middle. You can go. Okay. So okay. from from my end, um, I just started with with the task yesterday, and um, I only got to task one, so I was able to fairly uh, easily do the the comparisons. We're using the tables and the graphs. Um, I haven't yet started with actually exporting the data to the Google Sheets and then um, doing the comparisons there. So once I get there, then I'll have a, a better idea. I just want to see whether this week I'll have better luck or it will be easier than it was for me in week one. But yeah, I'll, I'll attempt that today. Yeah, probably. We hope it is going to be easier for you than week one. But if you have paged the data, which is going, which is the first step, then what you need, what you're supposed to do is to make the analysis of the companies. We have mentioned the seven companies, right? 
so you need to make an analysis why was there um what you know what was there uh, how was they doing on the previous five years so depending on the financial indicators that we have or that you're going to choose maybe i think it is true of the financial indicators that you're going to choose so depending on those variables or parameters you're going to assess the uh, character we can say the character i guess yeah the character of the or the behavior of the, that company on the past five years so what is the end goal is to know from those the seven magnific magnificent companies which company is going to do better or based on the next year or which is which one is doing better or there are different questions mentioned on the charity document so yeah. you're supposed to make those analysis depending on the financial key indicators that, and on the data that you have so if you have accomplished the first step which is fetching the data i hope it is not going to be that difficult for you it is just you need to see them um, graphically and also you can use the as mentioned earlier to to do the analysis for you actually you need you also need to do the graphs and visualizing the graph will be one of the good trades that you're going to use matilde so yeah um, yeah even if it is thursday you have time and you can accomplish the task matilde do i are we okay are we good yes i'm good thank you okay uh, Merab, you were raising your hand, so you can go so before jumping. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, I like to uh, and then give us what we ask. Uh, I'm sorry, Merab, I think your voice is not that clear, right? <laughs> yeah, it is not clear. You uh, are giving us uh, what we ask in tables. I like that uh, things and um, our prompts. We have to uh, make clear our our prompts to have uh, a good answer. Uh, but for the phase two and phase three, I I didn't finish my assignment. But I didn't also see the phase one and phase two phase three things. So uh, if you explain for us what we are going to do in phase one and phase two in the technical document in the challenge. Thank you. Okay, Mati and um, Merab, I'm sorry. So you need the explanation all over. I haven't heard the first question that is related with the table. I think maybe you will ask that again. Uh, okay, so maybe we can let, let's let me just share the Charlie's document and let's go through phase one and phase two. But probably uh, I'm hoping that by now you guys are somehow you guys have somehow finished doing the task one, right? I need to. It is supposed to be like that. So. Yeah, Dave, uh, can I uh, repeat it again? Um, yeah, if, if I didn't get your point to your question right, then you can. Yeah, uh, it's. Uh, I said it's good to have uh, things from LLM in tables. And I, uh, I know, like, I understand you have to clearly, the prompt, clearly write to give uh, an answer. But I didn't. Uh, understand the phase two and phase three things. I, I want to explain from that. Okay, so yeah, I get, uh, I get it now. So it was not a question. The first one, well, I'm not muted, right? Yeah, the first was is not a question. So let's go over what phase one and phase two is saying. So uh, on phase one, on phase one, um. Your this is the role, okay? Your junior junior employee at major at this company and the responsibility in the customer service department. One day, when the company owner sister is visiting, you overhear her speaking about ten thousand USD that she wants to invest into a leading technology company in the US stock market, and you recognize your chance to prove that you can do more than just be customer service. The company owner and sister enter an hour long meeting, and they will soon be merging and working. And as a highly motivated person, you know that if you can answer her question. So this is um, okay. But somehow it is not related what I'm going to say now, but you need to, this is 
uh, written here because you need to understand what the business is for okay so there's this thing called business understanding so every one of you uh, like let me mention this specifically um using this chance so you need to include the business understanding on your submission okay so while starting every submission most importantly the final submissions you need to uh, include the, the business understanding on the first or on the top space on the top place before going to the another sections like this doing the task one task two and task three before everything you need to mention the business understanding so if you also have checked the rubrics that you're going to be evaluated depending on it mentions business understanding on the first place so uh since it's going to have a value you need to understand the business so this thing here is mentioned to understand in order for you to understand the business and why you're doing this all tasks okay so you know you know the data rules the day when it comes to making investment and things like that so you go, you go for a walk and voice and the voice gives you the following tips you will pick one of the magnificent seven stocks so going to this link okay please explain phase two in phase three okay sorry after doing phase one uh phase two is asking your colleagues is the work that you did and would like to learn how to use LLMs to search. You promise to put together a brief for them on, on this to help them uh, to help them with team learning. So what you're being asked here is that uh, if you remember, we have seen we've seen an introduction with LLMs and we've also seen how to prompt LLMs and how to write how to yeah how to prompt how to use LLMs and how to prompt to prompt them so what you're supposed to include is you're going to consider that uh, we like to like you you're going to consider there you have a colleague or a friend that is who is not that familiar with LLM so you want to explain them what LLM is so in this phase you're expected to do an introduction for LLMs you know how to use them how to prompt them what types of LLMs do you use and for what purpose like for reporting what LLMs do you prefer for uh, maybe if you're uh, a technical person for code generation what type of LLM for Google searching what type of LLM do you prefer so you're supposed to include those things on face okay so it's more of like uh, letting another person or teaching introducing another person about LLM what you've learned until now okay that is phase two uh, but let me see, I, I, I'm not jumping phase three, I will be back to that, but uh, let me see if there is a report. I think there is a report that you need to submit about the LLMs, right? Is that on the entry or? If there is anyone who have checked that, you can help me too. So find Loki the PD, save public, right click, copy, share, reports contain one page showing the data. Each piece to have the same formatting currency in USD, not here, okay? Task three and task four, which is report aims to have trainees develop very simple recommendation based on three graphs and reports aims to have trainees brief their colleagues. Yeah, here is it. So the task four is that the phase two, okay? So you need to put those things. So like generally speaking about them, this is what you need to include on that, on that report. The first is the introduction to the LLM, and then what type of LLM are familiar with you, or do you know, or do you think that they are important? So mention those LLMs. And then which LLM do you prefer for specific tasks? Okay, so there are different tasks that we're using LLMs for. So for which task, what kind of LLM do you recommend? So um, that is what the most, uh, and how are you going to use that LLM? So how do you recommend, which is how are you going to prompt those LLMs? So that is what task four or phase two is talking about. So you need to include those tips on phase two. Are we good on phase two? Merab, can we go to phase three? Merab, is that clear? What I've talked about phase two? Merab Amara, can you speak? Thanks. Okay, it's that. You got you got the point. Is that you got the point, or okay? I will consider it as you have understood the point. So that is why you're going to use the uh, include on the LLMs part. Maybe if you need an aid for that, there is a video who, uh, or we had a session about how to use LLMs, how to prompt. I had also shared a slide on um, on introduction to LLMs and how to use them, you can refer to that, okay? You can refer both the slides and also the video. 
so you will be familiar on what to submit on phase three it is just a bonus and we'll have it's a one hour LLM monofix which is going to be um there's going to be a team uh and we're going to uh they, they are going to be jets uh, to judge uh we're not going to be the jets by the way so uh so what is it uh it is we're going to have uh a prompt a prompt for specific scenarios for everyone we're not going to have the prompt actually is it we're going to have a scenario about something and we're supposed to write a prompt a good prompt for that and we all are going to have different types of elites uh so there is a group as i said if there's this three groups so we're going to be using three different elements so after that uh using those elements we're going to generate something so at the end um, the jets are going to compare what we have generated and they're going to uh choose and they're going to also see the group discussion the group um, things okay and at the end of the day they're going to choose who which group output and which group collaboration was the best and that is going to be the LLMs Olympics. And it's not a mess, but I hope, I, I expect uh, every one of you to be there. Do you get my point in that up? Okay. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, who would like to go next? Uh, Raf has talked, Matilda, Matilda had talked. I would really want to ask Gabriel Medin, who is Gabriel Medin? I'm expecting that it's an Ethiopian name, and if it is, and if I'm right, then it's uh, not a woman's name. So, Gabriel Medin, can you please let us hear your voice? Okay, Gabriel Medina is not speaking. Okay, maybe let's go to, if that is the case, then I think everyone here, oh, Wendy. Wendy, do you have something to say or a question? Well, I don't know if you're gonna have to say, and I will be connected here. So I was actually wondering if Carol could, um, I'm yeah. sorry, Wendy, your voice is uh, breaking, I guess. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, that's better now. Okay, so I was saying, I was wondering if Carol could actually share her screen and um, teach us how she was able to use the Google to do the graph um, for the various analysis, because honestly, truth to be told, I had to beat time. So I've done the analysis all right, but I use an LLM. I didn't use Google. I didn't use the graph from Google Sheets. So I would appreciate it if, I don't know if this is the time. If not, I could reach out to her to okay. sleep. Yeah, it is going to be okay. So uh, since there are going to be another trainees here, we're, we, all are going, we all are going to be able to see her. So maybe Carol. Uh, Wendy was mentioning you to show us. Okay. Um, as I work on sharing my screen, uh, what exactly do you need to see? Do you need to see like my graphs and how I used the data on my graphs to come to a conclusion and how I compared that with um with the the context of the LLM. Okay, so I was okay for me. My challenge currently is how you were able to use the various um the data, how you were able to translate the data to get the graph. That is where I have a challenge with. Because okay. yesterday during tutorials we were trying to they were actually trying to teach us, but I don't know, my network was very, very bad. So I couldn't really catch up. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm working on sharing my screen in just a moment. Yeah, meanwhile, uh, yeah, let's go. To, uh, we all can help you on this. Let's go through uh, Carol's description and Carol's help. And then I might also add if there is anything that you want after Carol's uh, illustration, uh, demonstration. 
So also, it's very nice that you were able to do the analysis by uh, LLA too. Yeah, let's go. Um, can you guys see my screen? Yes, yes. Um, so what I did for me, I first of all, I went through the indicators that we were being given, which were uh, cash on hand, total revenue, market capitalization, research and development, net profit, and return on equity. So I, um, when the challenge for this challenge, we, we had been given a brief overview of what, um, of the definition of each of the given indicators. So I had to decide if I was investing in a company, what would I want to see for what would prompt me? What would I look at to prompt me to give money to a company? Um, for me, I decided to go with market capitalization, which is the amount of shares, the amount generated from the shares in the market. Um, also, the other I went with was revenue, which means um, how much money is being brought in by this company um, minus not without uh, excluding expenses. And the other is research return on equity. Uh, let me just uh, confirm. Yeah, the other was return on equity, which means um, how is the company using uh shareholders money and how uh what are the returns on how the 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 company is is using that money so once i made this as you can see let me uh let me let me try to zoom in um as you can see this is my first my first um graph just a minute uh, so this was my first graph which is for market capitalization so with this i was just looking at growth trends and the stability in those um growth trends so i think let uh using an example when you look at, let's use the first company, uh, NVIDIA, you can see that the growth for the first four years from 2018 to 2021 was um, steady, but then from 2022, it dipped, and then it was a bit volatile in 2023. So what that means, and if you compare that with, um, let's say, Microsoft, you can see the the growth of Microsoft, which is, sorry, which is the purple. Um, if you look at its growth, it's been, the it's not been, the, the growth has been steady till 2021. And also even the dip has not, has, has no, the dip and the growth between 2022 and 2023 was not as volatile. And also if you compare that with Apple, Apple has been, it's, the growth and also the dip has been very volatile. Again, if, if I was to invest my money, I'd choose a company that is, the, the growth is steady and not as volatile because as, as markets change, the volatility means that um, the, the dip in, in, in market shares in the market um, is going to be very intense and also is so going to be the growth. So for me, I'd put my money where it's steady growth. And when it dips, um, it's something that is manageable. Um, same with this. Um, let's look at this, the return on equity. So if you look at, for this, I will go again with, um, let's use Amazon, which is the orange line. As you can see, Amazon had been steady between 2018 and 2021, but between 2021 and 2023, the dip and the and the growth, that volatility is a bit uncertain. Um, that also, if we also even look at, again, Apple, their rise has been steady, 
but the steady has a volatility meaning should the market change the dip is also going to be very volatile again if we look at microsoft they have been able to maintain a very steady minimal growth and dip meaning um that stability is something you look for as an investor because um you at least it gives you a base of assurity with that um when we come to the revenue um again looking at amazon they have a very steady um growth in revenue from 2018 to 2023 but it's also very steep meaning should anything happen and the dip is there it's also going to be very steep meaning i'm going to make losses as an investor um when we look at let's choose tesla their growth has been there it's been steady but it's not very the growth is not very big in in terms of revenue compared to these other um companies um so for my total revenue here i went with my top two companies were of course microsoft and um google and up and apple though apple was also a bit on the volatile side so between um the alphabet and microsoft so that is how i was able to analyze then using for uh, in the end for using llms i just typed in a prompt for given the i attached this data to the llm and then my prompt was given the uh, charts uh, attached um kindly give a recommendation for which um companies an investor would uh, give a recommendation for companies for uh for the company for an investor and then i asked it to give me the top three companies and reasons why based on each financial indicator that i had given yeah that's how i was able to do my assignment Um, well done, Taru. Um, honestly, I like the the analysis. But then my question was, how were you able to use the various indicators to get the graph? That's what I wanted to find out. Or to, uh, so do you mean in generating the graph? Exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so for that, uh. I'm so, just going to, I will delete this chart so that I can show you how to generate this chart, okay? So I've deleted that chart. So um, using the total revenue in I'm very sorry for interrupting. Carol, maybe one question for Wendy. Do you already have the data? Yes, I do. Yes, no. I do have the sure. data. Yeah, okay, sure. Go, Carol. Sorry for um, So, um, for each for each um indicator, as you can see, I have a table. So, what you're going to do first is highlight the table of. So, for total revenue billion USD, I have a table for each company and what they bring in. So. The first thing you do is highlight the table number one then you go to insert and then you go to chart so um this then generates a chart for you that you're able to um sorry this generates a chart for you that you're able to 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 use so when you come here to the on your right side you can see a chart editor so for this chart editor you have you can change that the the chart type so you can either choose to use a line a line chart or the other one that i like using a lot is a is a column graph but this compared to the line chart the i feel like the line chart is better for giving projections and showing the the um, the growth so i opted for a line chart then when you come here to the customize end 
you now get to edit and format your chat for it to be presentable according to what you want. So here, um, for the chat style, you can change the background and the theme and the border. So for the border, I went with um, black. And also, uh, yeah, and then now when you come to the chat axis and, and titles, for the chat title, it's it should be the annual total billions in, you do annual total revenue in billions USD. So that changes that. Um, you can also edit the font, edit the color. So that's basically, that's what this does. Um, here on the series option, that means the series is basically for each and every company. So you can choose a general edit for all the, the, the company's um, lines, for example. Um, you can choose to, uh, a point shape is like, for because we have grids, the important points on the grid. For example, for, for a company like Amazon, which is the orange line, it means to define it more. So if I choose a, a, a circle, as you can see, and then I can change the point for it to become more defined so that I know this is the definite, like, this is for 2019 to just define that more and then change it according to how I want. Um, to change the color of what you, for each company, you again, uh, the drop down on the series bar. For Microsoft, I went with um, this color that way, then it just changes for, for the whole. You can also change the line type and, and the thickness. Um, the other thing that I went with is, um, the legend is this, this is this, this, uh, side table, that's the legend. So you can choose to move it. Um, you can choose to make the letters bold. Uh, and then now you can also change, uh, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. And then also to lay also uh, again to label the axis titles you choose here. So for my horizontal axis, it's already in here. I can choose to bold that to bold and that for my vertical axis. Um, my chart title was billions, uh, billions USD. Um, uh, and then make that bold. And once you're happy with where your graph is, you just, for me, I moved it to the side of the table. Um, to, and then to also make sure that it's, it matches with the other graph so that I can just have, um, neater work. Yeah. Uh, that's it. That's how I was able to generate a chat. I hope I have been helpful in doing that. Very, very. Everybody needs a car in their life. You're such a lifesaver. Thank you. Thank you're welcome anytime. Carol, really, thank you. Uh, I, will, I, will, I would also like to say thank you for, uh, like, we have unlocked another teacher, actually. Uh, okay, so uh yeah so if there is no other question uh so i think everyone has it spoke and everyone had said uh had put it inside honestly speaking i was hearing what carol was saying and i like i felt like okay you know, wendy she's a wendy is in a good hand so 
I somehow was not even hearing some of the things because I was confident that she was going to elaborate it all. Um, but yeah, she have said, as she have said and shown us, you can make the graphs, you can do the analysis, and you can just see and make a good decision. And what I recommend is don't forget to put your descriptions and your preference in a detailed way, okay? Every one of you. So what you've seen, the analysis both from the LLM and from the graph, don't forget to put that in a, in a in an elaborated way. Okay, then everyone, if uh, if we if there is no question, if there is no other question, I think we can end the session here by my side. Is there anything that you want to say? Anyone? Okay. So yeah, I think uh, we can end up the session here. Margaret, back to you. Margaret, can you hear me? Sorry, yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for being here. Thank you for making this a really good session. Uh, we'll meet again next week, uh, maybe on Thursday or Friday. And yeah, have a great day. And let's all be each other's keepers. Bye.